Hey, in this episode, I'm going to talk about livestock, ducks, yes. Uh, let's feature Puddles the duck. I've been raising Puddles from an egg, hatched Puddles, and now Puddles is matured. Stay tuned. We're going to share a story about Puddles the duckling. We'll be right back. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Brought you guys out to the duck pond because I wanted to feature an episode on primarily puddles, my duckling that I, I collected an egg. Uh, and then from that egg, I took it in, put it in the incubator in my greenhouse, and we started a process of incubating a bunch of eggs. Now, I took and went and candled these eggs a week later and this is the movement we see of puddles uh, in inside the egg as puddles is maturing into a little duckling. After about 28 to 31 days, puddles started hatching. And this is the puddles making his appearance uh, in the big, big world. And so I raised puddles, did a series of videos, uh, shorts, with puddles the duckling. Puddles became imprinted on me and we hung out a lot because none of the other eggs hatched. And that sometimes is what happens. Uh, I got another feature I'm showing about the turkeys. And uh, yeah, stay tuned to that episode. But Puddles uh, matured, had some trials, had some triumphs. And now Puddles finally got adopted by his parents. Well, I don't know if Puddles is a girl or a guy yet because I can't tell when they're this age. It won't be until older when you, I can determine uh, the gender of a duck or a drake. A male duck is called a drake. A female duck is called a duck. Now Puddles is a Pekin duck or Pekin duck. Yeah, uh, species, the kind, originated in uh, China and their primary uh, diet was rice and that's what they, how they developed the whiteness. Uh, they're, they're of a mallard family because originally they are of mallard and as they get older you'll see the black come through on the bill mainly the females will come out with black on the bill but they'll stay white all their lives but they are a mallard uh, primarily and this is a giant pecan i chose the pecan duck because of its size for meat and they <laughs> they lay an egg a day i've been collecting eggs out of one duck every single day I used to have uh, three additional ducks, one drake and two ducks, but I gifted them to another homestead so they can start their flock. Uh, the, the, these ducks are really easy to sell, really easy because of the size and they're um, mainly attractive to the Asian community in our area because they serve a lot of duck in their diet and this is one of the reasons why because these duck, this duck breed is so large and it's one of those um, things that when I researched the kind of livestock I wanted to raise on my homestead I was specific on specific breeds and types and I settled on this duck because of its size and when it comes down to having to be in a situation where we're in the position where we raise ducks and we use them to we barter when we get into that part of our lives well they're easier to trade up or trade across for other things that we don't grow 
with other local farmers so I can trade a duck for a uh, maybe a, a couple of pounds of beef because I don't have the homestead uh, geography to be able to raise beef uh, so that's why I raise peak and ducks so if you're wondering about the pond it came with the property when I purchased the property the pond had already been installed and it measures 40 feet long and 30 feet wide at its widest and I, I dug it out with my tractor and I got it at least this deep in the middle and I do have some fish in there I had to put some mosquito eaters that we got free from our vector control. I also put some, uh, some minnows in there. And then that way the ducks can um, dabble around and get some protein and eat those minnows. So they have uh, some protein uh, to go after. And especially right now, there's pollywogs in there. Oh yeah, the, the frogs already did their business, laid their eggs, they're hatching. And so the ducks will get a lot of protein just by eating the tadpoles. So that's a great time for ducks to have babies. So the babies can get a nice rich protein diet on tadpoles so they schedule their egg laying incubation and hatching around the time when the frogs are maturing into tadpoles and frogs. They eat frogs, slugs, snails, bugs, they forage on grasses. I feed them this grain, it's a, a, a milled grain um, and for baby ducks I keep uh, the uh, crumble handy so I use the uh, grains for the ducks and the geese and the crumble for the ducklings and the small birds so they can easily eat those. So this is one of my favorite scenes from my back porch is to sit here and watch, watch the ducks. The ducks are one of my most favorite animals to have. Well anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys and a little bit of the life of Puddles the duckling. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're a little homestead tucked up in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. We're kind of in an isolated, remote little valley tucked up here in the mountains. So we have a what they call a microclimate here. In, in Oregon, you can drive five miles in any one direction and, and run into a different climate. It's weird. Anyway, stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up, click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps us out. Remember, be safe, always be kind, and please come again. Bye bye now. Look who's helping me in the garden today. You need to go eat some bugs and slugs. Look at, look at all that comfrey. Eat the bugs and slugs. Come on, puddles. Earn your keep. You can't just stand there and look cute all day. Oh, yeah, that bird scared you.